Kyle Kraft from Outdoors Minnesota with Philip Ouch from Outdoors Minnesota. And this is Bella Kraft, our hunting girl. Golden Retriever. He's got back from a successful hunt. He hunted four geese in the span of two hours. Mm, yeah, about two, three hours. It's been a heck of a day. We worked our butts off. Yep. Hard work. I'm getting up early to get some geese. But uh, we're going to show you uh, how to uh, clean a goose properly, or at least how we do it. And this is how probably most people um, clean their geese. So uh, we're going to put one up here on the table and get to cleaning. I'm going to show you how uh, how I personally uh, clean most of my geese. Most of the time I just take the breast meat. You can take the legs. They tend to be stringy and kind of gamey tasting. But the breast meat always tastes freaking delicious. So you're going to start off just by grabbing feathers. Just start grabbing handfuls. And what you're going to be doing here is going to get to the to the skin. And you can kind of feel where the legs are and stuff. You don't need to pluck the whole bird. You can, if you want, you can cook a whole goose, but it's very time consuming to pluck the entire bird. You're not going to get any meat off the wings. You will get some of the other meat. And I know that's probably back in the olden days, they didn't let crap go to waste, but we're just probably going to take the breast meat. This one's a smaller one anyways. It's not going to have much meat on the legs. And actually you can see here, this one was shot. It was actually crippled when we shot it. And uh, we had to go, we came to our deeks and it <laughs> swam away. And uh, it's crippled. So we're going to have to check the meat out on this one and make sure the meat isn't rotted or festering or anything. Something to watch out for. Also, you want to watch out for BBs in the meat. We'll see if we can maybe find one after we uh, get this thing uh, skinned out. You'll see all these pin feathers. You can you can pick them entirely clean like these little ones. You can pick them entirely clean, but you really don't have to. You know, you just you just want to get the big ones off. You know. I'd say this one's probably what year old. It's a young. It's a definitely a younger goose or a lesser maybe. I'm guessing it's a young one though because we're hunting early here in August, and which means pretty much everything's local. So this one's. Uh, a young one. Okay, so now as you can see, I got it down to the skin here. And this skin, you can feel it's pretty loose. So, what I like to do is normally you'll find, you'll feel this bone here, this bone that runs all the way down the breast. What I'll normally do is just slice it lightly. You want a really sharp knife with this thing. Because it just makes it easier to uh, to uh, skin. To get the skin off. You don't have to skin the entire goose again. So you can see how I just kind of lightly ran my knife across it like that. You'll see how loose this skin is. I mean it pretty much, if you look, you zoom in, you can see that membrane. You just slice and it'll start to pull away and peel back. And you can tell uh, these local birds, the skin's a lot looser. Um, they don't have a lot of fat on them. You'll see the northern birds, they're, uh, they're a hardier bird. They'll have more fat and their skin will be tough and they'll actually be harder to pluck. So then, just keep working your way. Keep working your way all the way down. And you'll kind of feel where it starts to let go. So now you can see where I'm getting to the bottom of the breast here. You can actually lift up on it. That's that's all meat there. That's, that's what you're looking for. We're going to try and get this skinned off here. So then you can see where that meets, and here's the leg. I mean, there isn't, I mean, there's less than a freaking drumstick on that leg. I mean, 
But uh, if you have dogs or something, you can cook them for a long time. And you got your hunting dog. You want to give them a special treat for working their ass off and going to get birds out in the muck and shit. Oops, sorry. You know, you can cook them up and, you know, they'll, they'll freaking love it. Okay, so now again, you got that breastbone there. You're going to just take your knife and slice. So what I did there is I'm just starting to separate the meat from there. Uh, try, try to always get as much meat off you as we can. You can really tell. You can really tell this is a younger goose. Um, there isn't near as much meat on them as uh, a couple of the other bigger ones we have here. Now you can see where that breastbone runs along here. So you're gonna cut, and you're gonna cut around this, and you're gonna try and you know scrape as get in there as tight as you can, get as much meat you know as you can. You work for it. So yep, you just cut down. You'll kind of feel that membrane. You can actually see its rib cage and stuff there. So yeah, you get to that membrane there. You'll feel these membranes here. They got I think those are actually blood vessels. You just cut down. You'll see there pretty much is more meat. There's a little bit of meat there, but if you keep scraping your knife there, you're just gonna dull it. So then you cut up. So now you're just about done. There's just that little membrane holding it in there. Keep slicing. You'll feel resistance or it's still hooked up. Peel back. You'll see the membranes. Just slide your knife across them. So there you go. Um, you really can't see any BBs in this, but this is the finished goose breast. You got a little bit of the tenderloin in there, so you can kind of see. You know, that's you know, that's pretty much all the meat you're gonna really get. You can get a little bit here on the legs. It's a lot of hassle to get the legs. You got to break them and cut them off. A lot of times, uh, we just take the breast meat. This is the best piece of meat on the whole bird, and uh, you can grill it, bake it. Put it in a crock pot. It's good to eat. Alright, thanks for watching Outdoors Minnesota and uh, see you guys next time. Stay tuned for hunting footage. Maybe you'll see us uh, shooting some of these geese.